Install the Sentry dash and turn signal. Make sure that the factory dash cap is removed before starting this step. Both Sentry dash and turn signal need to be installed together and will require some prep work to do this. Remove the dash storage bin from the dash. Cut a port from the turn signal cable to pass through the dash alongside the steering column. Mark out a dime size shape in the 8 o'clock position of the steering column opening. Then cut out the appropriate shape. Disconnect the turn signal from the dash harness, then insert it through the steering column opening on the dash. Next, install the turn signal and dash together by easing the dash and turn signal down over the steering wheel column. On the way down, ensure the turn signal cable slots into the new cutout. With the dash assembly loosely in position, reconnect the turn signal 9-pin connector to the dash harness. Then temporarily clamp the turn signal to the steering column. The turn signal will be permanently installed later during the pilot steering wheel installation. Pull the dash harness, light switch, and turn signal wiring up from the rear into the dash well. Also, make sure the bucket harness to the dash harness connection is neatly tucked up behind the dash at the cup holder area. Temporarily secure the dash lightly to the front cowl with one of the provided 3 quarter inch screws to prevent any movement of the dash. Finally, install all the color trim. Partially peel back the protective film from the edges, which prevents scratches during the installation. Remove all double-sided tape before adhering the color trim and position on the dash lid, fascia, and cup holders. Double take, because looks matter.